very much, Mr. Ambassador. Um, as you just rightly, rightly pointed out, the relationship between India and the Netherlands have strengthened a lot in the, in the last few years. Um, but it's thanks also to the excellent uh, cooperation with the embassy, with the US ambassador and your predecessor. Um, so thank you very much for that, for all the efforts that you put in that in, in strengthening the relations between our two countries. Um, and these uh, relationships are also illustrated by the visits that have been in the past Prime Minister, both Prime Ministers to India and from probably last year to, uh, to the Netherlands. Uh, and of course, by, uh, illustrated by the visit that will take place later on this month um, by the Prime Minister, but also by Her Majesty the Queen, who will be in India uh, at the request of the Indian government uh, to, um, uh, to visit the country. And I think tonight is an, opp is an opportunity to uh, to celebrate that, uh, that cooperation that we have together. And the, the mission that will take place later on this month is an opportunity to capitalize and celebrate uh, on our, our cooperation. Uh, in 2015, I was uh, part of the, uh, the, the mission that, was going to, to, uh, that went to India with the Prime Minister. And I was then with the Minister of Agriculture. Uh, and one of the main, um, um, uh, main achievements of her at that occasion was that there was a deal about apples and pears, pears that would be sold to India. And um, Dutch apples and pears sold to India. It took some time before they could, they actually went to India, but I know they are going there, and the, uh, the Dutch um, farmers are very happy with that. And it's in that spirit that uh, the current uh, Minister for Agriculture will participate in the mission at this time, and sh we hope uh, that we will have new agreements, new contracts on uh, um, on, on working together on trade deals, but also uh, on cooperation on technology, in, on uh, agricultural development, um, for example, in cold chain management, all these kind of issues. We think that we can have an excellent opportunity to work together there on these issues. Um, I know that you are um, in favor of having um, a long term strategy for science and technology between our two countries. Uh, and that is something that we uh, uh, would like to see as well. And I know that this year we are celebrating uh, already 10 years of science and technology cooperation between our two countries. And um, I don't know if I'm telling something new to you, but I can confirm that we will uh, be partner next year uh, in a tech summit between India and the Netherlands um, so that we can have a, a, joint, uh, a joint summit there. Um, and it's in this spirit that our uh, the Deputy General for Innovation will take part in the mission as well from, from the Ministry. But there are of course a lot of many other issues that we uh, and themes that we cooperate, uh, uh, whether it is uh, on the business side, whether it is on the government side. Uh, for example, we are working on cleaning the gangers, so that is something where the businesses and the government are working together with the Indian government. Um, but also in, uh, in aviation, we've seen that uh, from the last summit where there was an agreement between Jet Airways and, um, and uh, France KLM, that the number of daily flights have been, they are now fivefold what they were. And we've seen the, the, the amount of tourists, of students, and of business people growing by 30% since then. So you're talking about the potential, some part of the potential we have reached already, but I know there's a lot more to come. Uh, and I thank you very much for making that possible, for making this evening possible, so that we can all uh, uh, co cooperate, but also contribute to that cooperation. Thank you very much.